Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review on the Fugati Hybrid, which is made by this chap called Foggy. Now you can pick one of these guys up at vapist.net, which is spelled as V-A-P-I-S-T dot N-E-T. And the base price of this guy is actually £226.80 for the 18350 standard version. It will cost you £232.80 for the 18490 version. Uh, while the 18650 version will cost you £238.80. Um, there's also the Vapus edition, which is essentially pretty much the same thing as this guy, just that the engravings actually come with like a slight like Union Jack on like each side of it, and those would cost you £6 more than the standard base price of each battery tube. Now, when you're purchasing your Fugati Hybrid, you can also choose whether you want the 2ml version or the 4ml version. This is a 2ml chap as seen here. Now, I currently have mine running with a 0.6 ohms coil, um, single coil setup with 2 to 5 straw mesh. So let's take a vape and talk about it. Now the Fugati Hybrid, when you first receive it, it will actually come in two separate tubes. One tube houses the Fugati with like a 510 base plate should you happen to want to like use your Foggy um, with like a different mod etc. While the other tube will come with the Foggy Hybrid um, battery tube in itself. Now this battery tube can be purchased separately off Vapors.net once again and it will cost you roughly £108 for the 18350 version, roughly £114 for the 18490 version, while the 18650 version will cost close to £120. Um, once again, they do sell the Vapors Edition, however, those would the 18350 version for that will cost you £115, the 18490 version will cost you £121, or the 18650 version will cost you £127, roughly. Now, the air hole of the Fogarty um, atomizer portion itself is 1.5mm. However, it's adjustable, so you can simply just like twist it in order to like choose the tightness or the looseness of the drawer that you prefer. The wick hole of um, the deck itself is actually 2mm and while one wick hole is actually open the other one is closed up with like this screw that you can simply like unscrew it with like a spectacle screwdriver for example uh, should you decide to like run a UIC setup or a dual coil setup of this guy. Um, the positive posts and like the negative posts are all made out of like 2mm hex key so which will actually come as part of your spares, however, should you decide to like, should you happen to lose that hex key, it is 2mm. Now, what I found is that while there is a fill hole right at the top of like the AT deck, I personally use a 17 gauge like needle in my syringes and I found it to actually be a rather tight fit of like um, the Fogarty deck. So if you're using like a needle with like a gauge that's lower than 17 you might have a problem in terms of like the fit of your needle into this fill hole. The top cap is um, held together using these two um, o-rings and personally I've not had any problems with like the top cap falling off etc as I found it to actually hold the top cap like pretty well. Now the Fogarty is best known for this really reduced chamber uh, that's seen over here and this personally I found actually helps to enhance the overall flavor, the overall like temperature of the vape as this guy vapes rather warm um, especially if you're running a sub ohm setup on it and I like it a lot as the flavor that I got of um, this hybrid actually it's more intense than like say a vape of a Senesis for example or like an AC9 etc. However, one thing I found is that this Etty portion, while 
it is actually reduced like slightly recessed in order to like fit this reduced chambered portion it's actually a massive bitch to like recoil admittedly the first time i tried to like recoil it i think i took i took about like 20 minutes or like 25 minutes just to like set it up as because it's recessed and I have rather small hands, I found it super hard to like actually trap the wire into like this ground pose and like this positive pose. As somehow I just kept missing it or the moment I managed to trap it, I turn, I like try to like record it properly and the wire just like falls out once again. So if you're not a patient person, this, this atomizer slash hybrid may not be for you. Now, Another thing that I absolutely did not like about um, the Fogarty hybrid is this hybrid costs quite a fair bit. However, all the contacts of this guy are all made out of stainless steel. So when I first vaped it for the first time, I was like, what the hell? As the voltage drop with like a stock Fogarty hybrid is pretty high. I measured a voltage drop of like roughly 0 0.8 volts, which is pretty massive, especially off a hybrid. What's good about it though is that the threading of the hybrid tube is actually 20 by 1 so you can use like a pop switch or like a caravella switch etc and it will fit like perfect straight into this hybrid tube and it will actually cause your overall foggy hybrid to like hit much harder and you'll get like a much better vape of it. With like this stock um, switch, I actually found myself like recoiling this um, this atomizer to like a lower ohms than what I'm used to. Like I usually vape 0 0.8 ohms. However, I have a 0 0.6 ohm setup of this guy here. So yeah, I don't know. Like I know some people may not find this to be an issue, but I was just like really annoyed by the overall aspect of like the stainless steel context. The locking mechanism of this guy, however, is pretty nifty. All you have to do is like pull it out and twist in order to lock um, your locking ring and all you have to do is just pull it out and twist it once again for it to like unlock. The throw of this guy is roughly 1mm to like 1.5mm so it is actually really nice to press um, the overall switch mechanism. So yeah would I recommend the Foggy Hybrid? Personally with like the newer technology and like newer atomizers that are coming out there Perhaps not, as this guy is actually rather hard to like recoil and the voltage drop that you get of like the stock um, button is not really worth the price in my opinion. I know I'm probably going to get flamed by a lot of people for saying that, but it's not quite worth the price with like stainless steel contacts. And another aspect that I did not like is that the contacts actually held together with a C-clip. Would have liked to have seen a screw as it will make like the disassembly process just so much more easier than with like a C-clip in itself. So yeah, if you like the design, definitely go for it though as admittedly the foggy hybrid is definitely one really aesthetic mod. So yeah, I guess that's all I have for you today. Take whatever you will off like the foggy hybrid and I guess I'll see you guys next video. Peace.